In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up a WireGuard VPN server on OpenSense Firewall. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So we are going to install WireGuard server on OpenSense Firewall. And for WireGuard, if you want to see more description of it, like how secure it is and what kind of features it has you can just simply go to wireguard.com and they have like summarized everything it's not a lot so for me i would say i would explain it in two words it's simple easy to use and then most secure all right so let's jump to the firewall and start the configuration so first of all you have to make sure you should have the vpn service installed like if you click on uh, vpn it should show you wireguard if not then you can simply go to system and then firmware and then uh, under plugins you should type here word wireguard and then it should show you if it's not installed but for me since it's installed i'm going to click on vpn and then wireguard and then on the instances so instance is actually the tunnel which is going to be you can consider after the installation which is going to be the step number one you're going to create a tunnel so just click on plus sign and give it a name i'm going to give it a name wg0 which is going to be wireguard0 and you can see the instance name as well for public and private key you don't have to be worried because it can generate it for you just simply click on this settings icon and it will create you the keys and you don't have to remember those but if you want to copy the public key you can do that but don't share the private key to anybody okay so for the listen port by default the port is 51820 but you can change it if you want to for like more secure instance so for me i would like to choose this one like let's not use the default one 51820 so i'm going to use 51821 and then the second most important thing in the settings which is going to be the tunnel addresses so i'm going to choose this one so this is going to be the whole network the subnet so that's why i typed 0 slash 24 so that's a complete network which will start from 0 11.1 to 250 5 to 54 whatever so it's going to be a complete slash 24 network and if you need like a few ip addresses uh, like a few peers for this wireguard you can do more subnetting for that you can go to my website zonersolutions.com and you can go into tools in the ip calculator you can like literally calculate and see how many ip addresses you will get with what like let's say if i type here 29 and if i go to ip calculator tool on my website it will tell me how many ip addresses i will i will get with this subnet so well i know uh, it will give me eight ip addresses but i need more so that's why i'm going to choose a straightforward class c subnet and then i'm going to click on save so now the tunnel is created and you can see the listen port as well so far our changes for the tunnel is completed like tunnel is created and then next step is to allowing and creating the interface for this tunnel okay so i'm going to go into interfaces and under assignment now you can see we have lan and we have van but we don't see wg0 interface so i'm going to click on assignment and here i should see a wg0 so here you can see wg0 uh so i'm going to assign it a name i'm gonna say tunnel zero and uh, add this one so now it, we should be able to see tunnel zero lan and ren so now we have all these three interfaces okay so now the step number three so th this was step number two step number three is going to be setting up the rules for uh, wireguard click on firewall and then go to rules and then under rules we are going to set a rule for van and then click on plus sign okay so let me explain the rule to you as well so we are allowing pass means we are allowing traffic to this interface van the direction is inbound so like let's say i have this server in usa and one of my client in dubai wants to connect to it so for me it's going to be 
the direction in interface like the person from Dubai is trying to connect to my server which is in the US so that's why we select direction in and then TCP IP version is going to be IPv4 and protocol we will use is UDP you can leave it any as well but I would suggest you to do UDP to just make it a little more secure and then for the destination port number we're not going to choose any we are going to set the port number what we set if you guys remember and i told you we're going to use that multiple times 51821 so 51821 so any traffic using this port number will be allowed on van and we can set the description here like allow varguard traffic and simply hit save and then after saving we need to apply the changes and after applying we are good for the rules and then we are going to add another rule on the interface of WireGuard so again under rules you will find WireGuard group or WireGuard tunnel whatever or you give it a name then you're going to click on add button and you will pass all the traffic and you can set up the source ip like uh, we set 172.16.11.0 if you want to like make it more secure if that's the ip address then allow it otherwise reject it but if you just leave it as it is we are fine because we know all the traffic from this tunnel is coming from van first and then we have the security setup on van so i'm just going to simply click on save and apply changes okay and the last step is going to be clicking on interface and then going into the tunnel and make sure the tunnel is enabled by default it's disabled so you, you have to click on uh, enable interface and then save the changes now the wireguard tunnel or the server configuration is completed now 100 percent settings are completed the next step is going to be testing it on the client side so client side could be any operating system i will do that on windows 11 linux mint arch linux catch us and like i have multiple operating systems and i'll show you on all of the operating systems so for the firewall configuration of the tunnel wireguard we are done so far to see how to set up vpn client on windows 11 just click on the video above and you will see all the configuration and settings here and i have explained it in very detail thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye